Hi and welcome back to Sweets and Beyond. My name is Aida and today we're going to be making guineitos en escabeche, which is pickled green bananas. Hola, mi nombre es Ida y vamos a estar haciendo hoy guineitos en escabeche. Estos son los ingredientes. These are the Okay, we're going to be using right here I have six green hard bananas. Seis guineos verdes. So these are the same bananas that turn yellow and the same bananas we eat, but they're hard and green. Pepper, salt, a quarter of a cup of vinegar, white vinegar, about a quarter of a cup of olives, six cloves of garlic, about six to ten, I may have ten peppercorns, two bay leaves, and a medium onion, finely sliced, some cumin, and olive oil. Vamos a estar usando pimienta, sal, un cuarto de taza de vinagre blanco, como un cuarto de taza de aceitunas, seis clavos, seis dientitos de ajo, como seis o ocho bolitas de uh, pimienta, dos hojas de laurel y una cebolla mediana finamente picada, un poquito de comino y aceite de oliva. Vamos a empezar. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put a pot of water to boil, a big pot of water to boil. Primero que van a hacer es vamos a poner una olla grande con agua a hervir. Now here are the, the green bananas, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, cut, I think it's easier this way, we're going to cut the ends, vamos a cortar las puntas, just going to cut like this, we're going to cut, cut them all, it's very easy, esto es muy sencillo para hacer, very easy to make. So we're going to cut all the tops and what we're going to do is we're just going to place them to boil with the skin on. Um, you could remove this. Lo que vamos a hacer es lo vamos a poner el bit con la cáscara. So we take this off and you will take your knife and make a slit right down the middle on each one. Oh, another sticker. Entonces lo que vamos a hacer es solo le hacen una rajadita en el mismo medio y los ponemos a hervir. So, you're going to salt your water and a little tip. I'm going to put my water to boil so you can see it. A little tip after you have them all um, sliced up, we're going to place them in the salted water which I'm going to salt now and you can use a lot of salt because this um, most of the um, salt is going to be absorbed by the skin a little tip this will stain your um, pot so just add a little bit of olive oil and this way the sap that this comes out won't stick to your to your um, pot. Un consejito, después que sale en el agua, échale un poquito de aceite, porque entonces el zumo que bota esto no se le va a pegar a la a la olla. So, make sure they're all slick. Asegúrense que todos estén bien picaditos. So we're going to boil this for at least 15 minutes. Vamos a hervir esto por lo menos 15 minutos. Regresamos cuando esto esté hervido. We'll be back. Okay, while the bananas are boiling, we are going to add to the mint, to the finely chopped, finely sliced. See how thin I sliced them? Estas son las cebollas que piqué bien finitita. So, my trick is, you're going to add the quarter cup of white vinegar straight into the onions. Mi truquito es para que sepa rico, so it could taste good. You're going to add the um, vinegar straight into the onions and you're going to let it sit. Lo vamos a dejar sentados aquí. Now we're going to start with um, the sauce that will go over the green bananas. So I have a small saucepan here. I'm putting it at a 5. My stove goes from 0 to 10 and it's at a 5. And we're going to add 1 cup of good olive oil. See how nice and dark it is good olive oil we are going to add the olives 
we are going to add the minced garlic and the peppercorns and we're just gonna let this sit we're gonna mix it around and I don't want this to boil okay so that's why you're gonna watch it I don't want it to boil because if, bo if it boils the olive oil tends to turn a little bit bitter so I don't want it to boil I just want to infuse all the flavors in there okay ahora vamos a echar todo menos las cebollas y el vinagre lo vamos a agregar todo junto a las, las hojas de laurel y lo vamos a poner un 5, mi estufa va de 0 a 10 y está en 5 no queremos que esto hierva porque si hierve yo creo que el aceite de oliva como es un aceite de oliva bueno que usé una taza de aceite de oliva se pone un poquito amargo so, no, lo dejen her no lo dejen hervir, lo pueden hasta tapar you can put a lid on it but watch it so we want it to slowly come up to temperature while the bananas um, boil so, le podemos poner una tapita y lo dejamos en 5, 4 o 5, depende, sin que hierva hasta que la, los guineos estén listos. Ok, so we'll be back when the bananas are done. Ok, so it has been 15 minutes and I wanted to show you how the water gets. It gets really ugly. So don't be alarmed if the water gets this color. Solo quería enseñarles cómo se pone el agua cuando uno hierve los, los guineos. Que no se asusten que así es que se supone que se ve. That's how it's supposed to be. So now I'm going to check. And you see, it falls right off. And when you check, they're completely done. So we're going to take them with the skin and all. We're going to put them in a pot to let them um, cool off a bit. Here you go. Los vamos a poner en, en esta ollita. Y los vamos a dejar enfriar para poder cortarlos. So we can cut them. Now on to our sauce. Um, I had to lower it to a one. Here you go. Lo tuve que bajar, le tuve que bajar el fuego un uno. Now we're going to add the onions. Ahora le vamos a echar la cebolla, the onions with the vinegar. So we're going to place them in here. The reason why I'm adding the onions now is because you want them white, you want them a little bit crunchy. You don't want them all soggy and um, brown. La razón por la cual le estoy echando las cebollitas ahora es para que no se cocinen mucho y no se pongan oscuras, para que se queden blancas. And the vinegar also helps with keeping them white. Y el vinagre también ayuda a que se mantengan blancas. So, I still have my stove right now is still at a one. So, I am going to up it to a three gonna put the lid back on it and by the time the bananas have cooled this will be ready subí el fuego a un 3 lo voy a tapar y lo voy a dejar hasta que los guineos se enfríen un poquito para poder picarlo so we'll be back and we'll put it all together okay so I already cut up the um, green bananas in little like one and half an inch thickness ya piqué los guineos ya se enfriaron un poco y los piqué en, en slices, en, en pedacito. This is already um, all nice and heated up. Um, here now, to taste, we're going to add salt and pepper. So, I'm going to put salt. I'm going to put in a little bit of pepper. Ahora lo sazonamos con sal y pimienta, a su gusto, to your liking, of course. And I also like to salt and pepper this. También me gusta echarle un poquito de sal. Un poquito nada más. Just a little. On top of salt and pepper. Before I mix in this. Antes de que mezcle esto. I don't take the bay leaf out yet. I will take it out before I serve it. So you're just gonna put all this. Oh, I'm making noises. <laughs> Estoy haciendo ruido. Now you're just going to mix this all in. Oh, doesn't it look amazing? Que rico se ve, ¿verdad? So, so that's all you're going to do. You're going to let this cool off a little bit more. Um, you can you can let it rest for at least 30 minutes so all 
the flavors can get combined and mixed up. Los pueden dejar este, a temperatura ambiente por lo menos por media hora para que todos los, los líquidos y todos los aceites se unan y sepa riquísimo. Or you can put this in the fridge. I will let it rest for 30 minutes and I'll be back to show you how it looks. Okay, so here you have it. Pickled green bananas or guineito en escabeche. Aquí los tienen. Guineitos en escabeche. Um, this is typically served as a side dish in at Christmas time in Puerto Rico or as an appetizer. Just with um, a little thing of toothpicks on the side and we just pick them. Esto típicamente es un acompañante a otros platos o se sirve en Puerto Rico como un aperitivo también. So please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Buen provecho. Oh, suscríbanse a mi canal. Vamos a tratarlo. Let's try it. Hmm. Definitely. Try it.